The other day I started wondering to myself, how can I get free exotic fish? See, it's fairly easy here in Florida where I live to just go out and catch exotic fish on the side of the road, like peacock bass, snakehead, clown knife fish, or even types of cichlids. But what if you don't have the same advantages as us in Florida? What if you live somewhere where it is impossible to go out and catch any exotic fish. This is where it gets tricky. Exotic fish can be pretty expensive, but what if you can get them for free? Or just some gas money to put inside of your car? So I started searching for ways. Then I came across fish tanks for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Boom, brilliant idea. People will need to get rid of their fish if they're selling their fish tank, right? I mean, you kind of have to, you have no choice. So I started messaging every single person that had fish in their tanks that they were trying to sell. I'm gonna be honest, I had so much hope for this in the beginning, but after days of messaging people and so many people telling me practically to kick rocks, I really almost lost all hope. There's no way all of these people are selling tanks and won't get rid of their fish. So many close calls where the people almost gave up on the fish and they just didn't. At this point, I thought this idea was dumb. And I really just had to scrap this project. And then my phone rang and I couldn't believe my eyes. I am so stoked right now, guys. I, I can't even put it into words. I'm so happy right now because this fish I'm going to pick up is something that I have been wanting for so long. I have two of them right now, but I want a whole school of them. I want a whole pack of them inside of my pond. I'm sure you guys probably know what it is by now. I'm talking about an Oscar. I'm going and picking up another Oscar. And the crazy part is I'm going and picking up this Oscar for free. No money involved besides driving. That's it. So if you have a car and you have a little bit of gas in it, you can do this challenge. If this goes viral, don't say that I'm the one that did it. Don't say I started it. Oh, that's gonna be hilarious. But anyways, I'm not gonna be doing too much filming inside of the house probably. I don't wanna film in some random person's house. So I will hit you guys back up once I get the Oscar. I have a big live one in the back of my truck for him, and I'll show you what he looks like. Supposedly this fish has so much personality from what the guy was telling me. As soon as I walked into this house, I instantly knew I had to record the amazing fish tanks this guy has. With his permission, of course. I am extremely grateful to be able to pick up this Oscar from this guy and also show you a few 250 gallon fish tanks with the most colorful African cichlids that are. So enjoy what I witnessed firsthand and also my raw and unfiltered reaction to these fish tanks. I just got to where the Oscar is and let me tell you, he has a lot of fish. <laughs> just got a whole bunch of fish, rainbow fish in here. Ton of African cichlids in here. Is it just African cichlids in here? Yeah. Whole mixed variety of them. These ones are mixing and these ones are all males? Yeah. Look at the colors on some of these fish. That is amazing. That one is the brightest orange red I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. How long have you had them for? Some of them like five years. Wow, they're huge. So me and this guy had quite a nice conversation for a little bit just talking about fish and fish tanks and then it was finally time to get what I came for. This guy right here. Because <laughs> I'm sure he's going to get it wet and get him wet. Yeah, I'm used to it bro. <laughs> you want that big cat too? Which one? That pleco? The pleco? When I walked into this house, I only expected to pick up the Oscar and part ways with this guy. Then he started offering me a few other fish. Who could say no to that? Right. 
Where'd you get him from? Imperial Tropical. That's where I buy most of my fishers. I'm gonna grab him so they Thing is huge. Let me show you guys what we got because we didn't just get the Oscar, we got a few other fish too. So, this is called a chocolate pleco from what he told me that's a chocolate pleco. There is the Oscar. And then we got another little fish down here. Not sure exactly what he said it was, but yeah, we got three fish. We got the pump going inside of the live well. I will catch you when we are back at my house with all the fish. Just like that, we are back home. Let's go check out these fish real quick. The fish look good, no scales missing. Nothing wrong with any of the fish. Sweet. Some sort of sickle, that thing is so cool. Look at the blue on its tail. This guy actually told me he posted this fish tank for sale just because he wanted to get rid of the Oscar. He wanted to put more fish inside of his fish tank, but he wanted to make sure that the fish was going to a good home. Obviously my pond is a giant home. He doesn't have to worry about the fish going into a small aquarium. This is gonna be so cool. I am so stoked for this, man. You guys don't even understand. Just taking some water from the pond, dump it inside of the big live well so they get acclimated to the temperature in the pond. It's not much different. The pond is 75 right now. I'm sure that's probably what his fish tank was as well. But we're gonna do two buckets at a time for the next 15 minutes. And in my previous video, I was talking about how the pond is a little green. I can't figure out exactly why it's green. I went to go check the UV light, which I said was working and it was working. But then for some reason, I go back and it's completely fried out. It's not even on. So I had to order a new UV light. The pond will be a lot more clear once that does get back in here and takes its toll on this green algae that's growing in my water. Here we go. First fish from today's trip inside of the pond. Oh my goodness. He did not want to be held, but there he goes. I'm sure this little guy is going to be hanging out with all of my other jewel cichlids. What a cool fish. Such bright colors on him. Blue fin on the top. But here he goes. He's probably going to be sticking around the rocks. This whole area up here is entirely full of rocks. And today, the prized possession. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my goodness. Massive Oscar. And that is what a no good UV light bulb looks like. Burnt out. Brand new one. And that is the color it's supposed to be. You all might be wondering, Luke, why is the pond partially drained out? The reasoning for this is that the UV can clear up the water that is already inside of the pond, and then I'll add more water after because it's gonna clear up the water that is in here right now a lot quicker since it is probably 3,000 gallons less than what it normally would be. Just like that, two days later, you can see almost to the bottom over here in the deeper end. But everything up here is extremely clear. 
There's just no sunlight so you could barely see it. Two days ago you could barely even see in the pond and now it is looking a ton better. I'll update you guys back in a few days once the pond is obviously going to be a lot more clear by then. Today marks one week since the UV filter has been on the pond. And if you don't believe me, I haven't shaved in a week. At least a week. Let's take a look. It is insanely clear in the pond now. See straight down to the bottom. Deep end and the shallow end. There's just absolutely no way I'm going to be able to film in the pond today. Because the sun is just not over the top of it. You're not going to be able to see any of the fish. I did see the Oscar just a second ago, but there's no way I'm going to be able to film it. There's too much of a glare, and there's also too much stuff from the pine trees and some of the other trees that are in the yard just floating on top of the water. So I'm going to have to fill up the pond the rest of the way and turn on the skimmer so it sucks all that stuff in there. It is the final day of this video. It has been a week and one day since I put the UV filter on this pond. And last night, I filled up the pond and put the skimmer back on. So the skimmer is on right now. It's working. There is no more stuff on top of the water. Besides a few pieces that fall every single minute. You can see one of the Oscar over there. So to end off this video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a feeding. Somebody is a little hungry. Ready for some tilapia? These next few fish are probably going to be pretty quick. Bluegill, might have been Fred. That was a large mouth. That is all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If the pond was clear, this video would have been out a week ago, but sadly, it took some time for it to clear up. But thank you all for watching this video and remember, if you are gonna do this challenge, you have to remember to be safe about it. And don't walk into just some random person's house with no one else with you or anything, or nothing to protect you in that, in that sense. I will catch you in my next video. Thank you for watching.